quick. You have just a few days left to take advantage of a crazy good 30% transfer bonus to Virgin Atlantic. This means that you can get domestic flights for less than 6,000 points, and you could even get business class flights to Japan for less than 35,000 points. In today's tutorial, we're gonna show you how. Hello, my name is Julia. I am the founder of GeoBreeze Travel, and I personally got about $100,000 worth of travel last year for approximately 90% off by using points and miles. And we typically save our clients more than $30,000 in travel in the first six months of working with our team. And we wanna provide you with a clear path to luxury travel with these step-by-step -step tutorials as well. Viewer suggested topics for these tutorial videos are always welcome. So let us know in the comments if there is a topic that you would like covered. Also, if you are listening to the audio only version of this, I recommend checking out the GeoBreeze Travel YouTube channel for the full video walkthrough experience as well. Okay, so let's jump right in with how to get some crazy good deals with the Virgin Atlantic transfer bonus. Okay, let's go over a quick, easy example for when it would make sense to transfer points over to Virgin Atlantic. So let's say that you wanted to book a quick Delta flight that's just domestic, maybe between Denver and Salt Lake City. Let's check the price on Delta first. Denver to Salt Lake City, one way on June 1st, advanced search, shop with miles, let's just search for main cabin. For that particular date, Delta is charging 8,500 points, but sometimes it could be a little bit more, it could be a little bit less. There are some days where it's as low as 6,500 and some days where it's more like 11,000 or 10,000 points to fly between Denver and Salt Lake City. Let's compare that with Virgin Atlantic. So on virginatlantic.com, you would click on reward flights. You'll click on one way, search for the exact same route from Denver over to Salt Lake on June 1st, and then all cabins is fine here. Let's go ahead and click on search. And here they have a price calendar as well, which is pretty handy. You'll see that it's a standard price everywhere with Virgin Atlantic of 7,500 points versus with Delta, it might be a little bit more, it might be a little bit less. So if you're looking for the lowest points price for the same exact flight, I would recommend checking both Delta and Virgin Atlantic. Keep in mind, not all points will transfer to Delta, it's just Amex. So if you mostly have Chase or Capital One points and you're like, I really wanna fly this Delta flight, but I don't have any points with Delta and can't transfer over, you can still transfer points over to Virgin Atlantic and book that exact same Delta flight here. Because you'll see that if we click continue, it is a flight operated by Delta Airlines. You're just buying it through a partner airline like Virgin Atlantic. If you love free resources that let you maximize your points, check out geobreezetravel.com slash quiz. There, you will find a free short quiz that will point you to the best resources depending on whether you are trying to earn more points, redeem your points, or something else. And by taking the free quiz, you will also get access to the free Points 101 course, which is a fantastic resource for anybody just getting started with points and miles. Okay, time to get into some of the fancy stuff. Let's say that you're not interested in Delta economy. You want Delta One first class. Well, the Virgin Atlantic transfer bonuses can help with that too. So if you would prefer not to fly Delta economy and you're like, I want the fancy Delta flights, how do I get on Delta One? Here's a trick for how you can do that with Virgin Atlantic for pretty cheap as well. So on seats.arrow, they have this tools section. And if you click on that, go ahead and click on Delta One Finder. I suggest having the pro version so you can see a full year of availability. And as an additional pro tip, it is not very easy to find flights from North America over to Europe. There's only a few different options here when we search this way, but if you can do this on the return flight from Europe to North America, for whatever reason, there is a lot more availability. What you're looking for is something where the points price is 50,000 points. And when you hover over it, you see the code DL. That means it's very likely a Delta One flight that you're looking for. So let's do a search for one of these. Let's look for Frankfurt over to JFK on August 28th. Once you find it over here on seats.arrow, you're gonna to go to virginatlantic.com, click on reward flights, one way, 
from the route that you found, so Frankfurt, over to JFK on the date that you see on seats.arrow. So in this case, it is August 28th. Go ahead and click search. And then from here, just go ahead and click continue, scroll down, and you'll see that it is the direct flight from Frankfurt over to JFK for 50,000 points, plus about 300 euro in taxes and fees. And when you click on details, you can confirm that it is a Delta One plane. And that is a very good deal for Delta One because here's how much it would cost if you tried to book the same flight with Delta directly. So if we go to delta.com and we type in this exact same search from Frankfurt over to JFK, one way on August 28th for one passenger, checkbox shop with miles, you can say your dates are flexible. And then under advanced search, select that you want to go Delta One. Take a guess at how much this is going to cost. Remembering that on Virgin Atlantic, it is only 50,000 points. Go ahead and click search. Ooh, it is 280,000 points. Same taxes and fees though, but if you click continue, you can confirm this is the Delta One suite and it should be the exact same flight, 11.50 a.m. It's direct, flight DL107, and here we go. Remember, you can get the 30% bonus when transferring either American Express or Chase Points over to Virgin Atlantic. The Amex transfer bonus ends on May 31st, and the Chase transfer bonus ends on June 15, 2024. If you are in the market for a new card so that you can earn these types of points too, but you're not sure what card to get, check out our free credit card consultation form at geobreezetravel.com slash consultations. We will send you a personalized recommendation based on your particular goals, budget, and lifestyle. Or if you do already know what card you would like to get and you would like to support this show when you apply for your next card, we have all of our affiliate links listed for different cards on geobreezetravel.com slash cards. But before you move any point over, let's go over some common pitfalls that people run into when doing these types of transfers and how you can avoid the same technical issues. Quick warning though about Seats.Aero and Virgin Atlantic. I've been doing a lot of searches for people with this just because of the transfer bonus that's been going on lately. And there has been a bit of phantom availability that we've been seeing. So before you move over any points with Virgin Atlantic, it's always good to cross check. For example, let's say that you want to find a cheap domestic flight out of Minneapolis and you're seeing this one over to St. Louis at the end of the month for 7,500 points, which looks great. So before you move over any points, it's always good to actually check on virginatlantic.com. Reward flights one way from MSP over to St. Louis at the end of May on the 27th over here. Click one person and search. And it looks like no reward flights are available for that search, even though it is showing up on seats.arrow because this showed up 29 days ago. I'm not sure why it's still in their cache, but if you do see something like that, it's very likely that it doesn't actually exist anymore. So please always check the award flights on Virgin Atlantic before you move any points over. Another tool that you can use for this is the Virgin Atlantic reward seat checker, where you can search for flights operated by Virgin Atlantic or Delta Airlines. And it looks like it only operates flights out of these three airports, London Heathrow, London Gatwick, and Edinburgh. But here's a cool trick. You can actually select any two random airports and the month that you want to fly, click check for reward seats. And then once that page loads, you can rig the URL. So if you're like, I don't actually want to fly from London to Detroit, I want to fly from Minneapolis to St. Louis. You can change the URL to say origin equals MSP and destination is STL. And it's going to say, there's not really anything like that. That's not working. So that might be a good hint as well to whether or not you're going to find anything on the actual Virgin Atlantic website, but always check before you move your points over. Are you enjoying these types of tutorial videos? If yes, please let me know. Click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel for even more points and miles tips every week. There are a couple of other quirks to keep in mind when using the Virgin Atlantic website, especially 
if you want to get some amazing deals with partner airlines over to Asia. Here are some examples. Here are a couple other quirks that you might want to keep in mind when booking with Virgin Atlantic. So as we mentioned, always make sure that you're checking for availability before you move any points over. Like let's say that you wanted to use Virgin Atlantic to find some great deals to Asia. Here we can see some flights over to Korea starting at 85,000 points, which is fantastic because 85,000 divided by 1.3 because of the 30% transfer bonus means you just need to move over about 66,000 points to fly one way, one person business class. Let's check one of these flights. So on virginatlantic.com, we're gonna click on reward flights one way from Seattle over to Incheon, South Korea. And this is gonna be on, let's check January 6th. Let's search one person. And here we will click continue but it looks like they're sold out of all of the business class flights for this particular route. Seats.era says this was found four days ago, so it has been sold in the meantime because there was only one seat available. But let's check this one from Vancouver, which is pretty close to Seattle, and it was found just a day ago, so we might have better luck with this. So let's go back to the Virgin Atlantic homepage and then search from Vancouver over to Incheon. And sometimes it's not gonna autocomplete for whatever reason, which is slightly annoying. So what you do is click on full airport list, and then you need to find the country that this is in. So this is in South Korea, and then find the airport, which is in Seoul. Slightly annoying, but not the end of the world. This is gonna be on January 27. One passenger. And under advanced search, we wanna do points and we wanna search for upper class. Go ahead and click go. All right, so here we have the results where we do see Vancouver over to Korea, operated by Korean Air in business class. There's two seats left, which is great because most of the time, whenever there's a code share with Korean Air, they're only releasing one seat at a time. But for this particular one, there are two seats and sometimes you can get lucky and find more of them, but these tend to be code share with Air France instead of Korean. And next we will cover an even better way to fly business class to Asia using Virgin Atlantic. Our last walkthrough covers the sweetest sweet spot of all, which is how you can get a business class flight to Japan for less than 35,000 points per person. That is coming up next. And if you are interested in leveling up your points and miles game, and maximizing your points too, we have a couple of options for you. The first one is the GeoBreeze Travel Patreon, which you can join starting at just $5 through patreon.com slash GeoBreeze Travel. Each month, we prepare personalized step-by-step -step tutorials for the routes that our members request. We also provide open forum group coaching, where you can ask any questions that you have about points, miles, and credit cards in general. And sometimes we talk through some of the tricks that don't get mentioned on social media. And if you are looking to get even more free travel with points and you are a business owner or individual who spends more than $100,000 per year on expenses, check out our one-on-one -on -one points portfolio management service. We typically save our clients $30,000 to $60,000 in travel in the first six to 12 months of working with our team. If that sounds like something that you would be interested in, Book a free intro chat with us at geobreezetravel.com slash intro call to learn more. Okay, let's walk through one of the most aspirational ways to leverage this Virgin Atlantic transfer bonus. All right, and the last example we're going to go through, we've covered on the channel before, but it's a fan favorite for probably the best way, or at least the cheapest way to get to Asia in business class for the least amount of points. So that would be using Virgin Atlantic to fly ANA business class for about 45,000 points per person one way, or with this transfer bonus that's currently active, you only need to move over 35,000 points because 35,000 times 1.3 is gonna be more than the 45,000 you need per ticket, which is a fantastic deal. Here's how you find it. So go to seats.aero, click on the search tab, and then search from the USA to either Narita or Haneda. 
and you are much more likely to find these deals as last minute flights rather than further out in the calendar. I just said June 1st, plus or minus 28 days. And I'm just searching for one person at a time. And you want to make sure the operating carrier is NH. That is the code for ANA. Sort by business class lowest. And I think you're going to have a lot more luck if you are looking for the direct flights. It doesn't have to be direct, but you'll have more luck that way. So what you'll want to do is once you find one of these, filter the program down to United Mileage Plus. You're not booking through United. You're not flying United. You're flying ANA, and you're going to book it through Virgin Atlantic, but you're going to search for it on United. That's why this is one of those next level things, is it's very convoluted. But here we see that on May 14, there is a flight available from Seattle over to Haneda, and there's nine seats available, which is crazy good. So... What we do now is we go to united.com and we search Seattle over to Haneda and we search for May 14, which is the date that seats.aero said it would be available. I'm just going to search for one adult for now, but if you've had a family of nine who is looking to do this, that's pretty great. By the time you see this, May 14 will have come and gone, but you can run this exact same process on today's date going forward. So then you go to united.com. Type in that route, that date, business class, checkbox book with miles. Make sure you've selected one way, click find flights. Here's what you're looking for. You want something that's operated by All Nippon Airways. And when you look over here, you want it to say business class parentheses I. That means it is very likely that Virgin Atlantic has access to this as well. Once you see it on United, you need to call Virgin Atlantic. You cannot book this online with them if you want the 45,000 points price. So what you're gonna do here is Google book ANA with Virgin Atlantic. I like to use this one mile at a time article. There's a few other ones that talk about how to do this, but this one is my go-to. I'll click here and then I usually just say control F 800 so that I find the phone number to call, which is 800-365-9500. And then what you'll do is call Virgin Atlantic. You'll say, hey, I found this on United. Can you verify if you see this award space as well? It's flight NH-117, departing Seattle at 4.40 p.m., landing in Haneda at 7 p.m. on May 15. If they say yes, then you can do your transfer over to Vernon Atlantic over the phone, and they can book it for you via phone right then and there. They cannot hold the award space for you, so you have to be ready to go with your points. And as a reminder, everything transfers over to Virgin Atlantic from the US, Amex built Capital One, Chase, or City. I don't recommend using City. It's a little bit slower. Amex looks like it's a little bit slower. So I would use Chase points because of the 30% transfer bonus. And according to the internet, it's going to transfer a little bit faster than Amex. So if you have that option, I would go with that. And then you can book a business class flight over to Japan for 35,000 points from the West Coast. And if you want to book this from the East Coast or the Central U.S., the pricing is going to be a little bit higher, but not too much. So these are the round trip business class flight prices. Just divide this by two. So from the Western U.S., 90,000 divided by two is 45,000 points. If you wanted to go from the Eastern U.S., then 95,000 points divided by two is 47.5 thousand points. And once you take the transfer bonus into account, that means you just need to move over 37,000 points into your Virgin Atlantic account from Chase or Amex, which should be easy peasy. I hope you found those tutorials useful. Also, let me know what other types of tutorials you would like to see. Suggestions for future topics are always welcome, so let me know in the comments. In the meantime, if you enjoyed these tutorials, I think you will enjoy this video next.